Hey guys, welcome to Glenn Toyota's video channel. My name is Jared Tipton, and right here we have one of our 2013 Toyota Tundras. This is one of our uh, clearance Tundras that we've got right now. It's stock number 2935. We've got this one clearance price for $34,498. Unbelievable price on this vehicle. Or if you don't want to use that $2750 rebate, we have 0% for up to 60 months, or you can go up to 72 months at 1.9% interest. So we'll go ahead and dive into a few of the features of the vehicle right now. This vehicle does have a V8 engine. It's got 381 horsepower, about 400 pounds of torque, and it can tow over 9,000 pounds. So very strong, very big truck. Really is going to be able to get the job done no matter what you're looking to do. So again, the huge engine here. Toyota, they've got a lot of safety features that I know you guys have come to expect as the consumers. You've got the crumple zones throughout the hood and through the side here. In the event of a full frontal crash, what's going to happen is the whole front of this truck is going to go like an accordion. And then when it does that, it's going to absorb as much momentum and force as possible before any of that's transferred to the cabin. Also, the engine will drop down and it kind of hit the ground and go underneath the cabin of the vehicle so the engine's not going into your knees. You've got your clear fluid wells here. Again, this is a very powerful truck. Now on the front of the vehicle, you can see we've got the oversized headlights here. They're going to be great going through snow, fog, up mountains, whatever you want your truck to do for you. Of course, they're not going to work that well if you've got it covered in mud, but everyone has what they like to do in the truck. Also, you have the full uh, towing capacity here with the tow hooks underneath the vehicle. If you need to tow something from the front, you've got the five mile per hour bumper here, which basically just means if you're going five miles per hour or less and you run into anything, as long as you hit the brakes and relieve that pressure, you're not going to have any body damage. You might have a little nick or a scratch on it. That's about it for the engine here. Let me go ahead and shut the hood for you. We'll go ahead and go to the side of the vehicle here. You do have the oversized mirrors here. They're really, really big. I mean, they're basically like a vanity mirror. Ladies, if you're driving a truck, you need to do your makeup. This goes in and out, so there's no way to really break off the mirror if you're tight uh, on space in your garage. Notice the beautiful alloy wheels here. We've got the oversized tires here. These look great on this particular vehicle. Now, on the Tundras, they also have side impact beams in the door. So in the event of a frontal, uh, excuse me, a side tr uh, crash, what's going to happen is, is that side impact beam, which goes this way, it's in between the exterior and the interior of the door. That side beam is going to brace for that impact and absorb as much as possible before it's transferred into the cabin. Also, you have your side curtain airbags as well. So you've got side impact beams on all four doors. You've got your gas cap here, a little bit of a top bed liner. Again, the alloy wheels. Now going to the rear of the vehicle, this vehicle does have oversized headlights as well. Really great, strong five mile per hour bumper. This is a flex fuel vehicle actually, so if you're ever uh, at the gas station and you notice that the E85 is a little bit cheaper, this vehicle runs fine on that. You've got your hookups here for if you wanted to hook up into the braking system with anything that you might be uh, towing as far as having a trailer with lights or anything like that. You've got your normal hitch hookup right here. Right here is a backup camera. We'll get into that a little bit more lately, uh, later on in the a video here but also okay guys now that we're taking a look at the interior of the tundra here just wanted to show you all of the uh, capabilities as far as the cargo configurations these seats do have a child seat anchor on each one so you can actually have three car seats in here if you guys have a lot of little kids you'll have space for them here notice also that my arm is straight through the window goes down just like a power window and so it goes down it's a very very nice touch you also have the sunroof up there so cruising down the interstate with the sunroof down in that back, it just can't beat it, wind blowing through your hair. But you have so many different configurations. You've got uh, the armrest here with the cup holders. But what really gives the value to the crew max configuration is if we pull down here, you can pull this down, you can move this back and forth any way possible. So like if we move this all the way forth, and I'll come right around there to meet you guys, As you can see, you have room for storage back here for a TV, lumber, anything like that. And again, with just the flip of this little latch here, you can move everything back up. Now, here's something else to think about, guys. A lot of people, you get in these small trucks and there's no leg room. I want you guys to observe. Now, I'm about six foot one, about 230 pounds, and there's almost a foot between my legs. And what I can do 
is move this seat forward, scoot it back, and I'm reclined. I can move it forward some more, move it back for more, and I'm ready to take a nap. You just, you can't beat the room. The roominess of this truck cannot be overstated at all. So we'll go ahead and move it back here. So again, you see the flexibility. You've got the charger here if you wanted to charge your phone, rear air. In the doors here, you can actually uh, store bottles of water, anything like that. Got some extra storage. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the front of the vehicle. Okay guys, now we're on the interior of the Tundra. The first thing I wanted to point out to you is check out that huge sunroof. Very, very cool. It's got an automatic door there where it'll go back. So you have that. You've got your shifter here, which this does have our sequential shift mode, so it you can just push up to upshift and push down to downshift. Gives you a little bit more better gas mileage and it's a little bit sportier of a drive if you choose to do it that way. This also has the passenger airbag sensor. What it'll do is it will actually sense the weight of the person that's in the passenger seat. So if you did have a little one up there where the airbag could hurt them, it won't deploy. You have two charge ports here for uh, cell phones and anything else you may need to power up while you're on the road. You also got your USB and auxiliary jack here. You can actually throw in a thumb drive right there and play your music that way. You can stream your music over the Bluetooth that the Tundra has. You got your cup holders here. You got extra storage in here. But here is where I've seen customers literally run businesses out of the Tundra. You have spots for cards, for pencils. You've got a spot to put your change right here. You've got a hanging file. Everything you could ever need is built into this truck and its features as far as storage and capability. Not to mention, once we close this, we have the double dash over here. So you've got extra storage all the way around. You couldn't have a roomier truck or a more capable and versatile truck. You can run a whole farm business out of it, anything you need to do. So obviously guys, we've learned a lot about the 2013 Tundra today. For those of you that may have had smaller trucks or maybe have never owned a truck that are thinking about this particular vehicle, you may be thinking, gosh, this is a really huge vehicle. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to park it, anything like that. Just want to let you know, Toyota's got you covered. This car does, excuse me, this truck does come equipped with a backup camera and it's actually got a nice geometry to show you how uh, perfectly you're backing into a space and it'll show you the lines of where your vehicle. And then we're going to demonstrate that here in just a second. is the 2013 Toyota Tundra. And again, my name is Jared Tipton. Be sure to come out and see me. Test drive one of them.